In the center right starting location, we have our player formerly known as Optimus. He's no longer a Transformer. Oh. Did that say Prime? What? I, what did that voice just say? It's like Prime. I thought it said Prime. I'm like, what? That's like, no. <laughs> now in the top center starting location, we have our other Terran. Play a Now. This map, these positions, definitely a possibility we will see a Sky Terran. the Panda Bear guy returning from StarCap 1. He's like, where's my body and why is my neck so small? You think we could see some uh, Sky Terran tasteless? I would hope so. I, I think it's I great do. in these spots. I hope so, man, because it's just so often that we'll see a starport opening uh, on this map. And then if you scout your opponent and he does one starport and you do two, you normally just win. Well, no one gassing yet, so we might yep. just see some very quick command centers. Polt is a guy that uh, prefers Bionic in this matchup still. Yeah, he's one of the... He loves to punish he, people. He does make it work still, too. Yeah. As you can see, Polt... Uh, actually, both players just dropping a depot. They don't finish it, but they just want to make sure that the entrance is sealed off. Generally, if you see them do this, you can almost always ex assume that they're going to do a fast expand as well. Yeah, it, it gen generally tends to be that way. Doesn't have to be though. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, but one day someone will do that and still cook Banshee and get a free win. But both players are going to go for fast expansions with no gas. I feel wronged right now. Why? Because you wanted no the Sky Terran? I wanted Sky Terran, man. Sky Terran's so handsome in these spots. I'd, I'd love to watch it and just watch someone get picked apart by one Banshee surrounded by four Vikings. It's fun. It's fun for me, Tasos. Is that how you get your jollies? Or it's doses? one of the ways. It's one of the ways. Now we've got both of them making the commands. Tages outside is natural. Pult's inside. His main base. Gas going up immediately for Pult. Taja, nothing yet, though. Most of this early game will probably be uh, centered around little skirmishes in between the one Zelnaga watchtower they both share. They'll be like two brothers fighting. They think it's mine! <laughs> Me! <laughs> All that. right. More barracks being thrown up now. And we're going to have a little bit of downtime here as they both, uh, you know, they're basically both doing the same thing so far. Except that uh, looks like Teja has one gas and Bolt is taking two. Indeed, we are tasteless. Indeed, we are. Ask me a question. Any kind of question? Any type of question. Do you like whipped cream? Ooh, that's a really good question. You are... Ah, you're good. It was the first um, one that came to mind. I am not a fan of whipped cream, but if I were to eat something with strawberries on it, like uh, strawberry, you know, like the, the ones with liquid and stuff, like yeah. strawberry shortcake or something, I would have whipped cream on that. Other than that, though, no. That's a correct answer, actually. I thought it there, was. There actually is a correct answer to that, and you passed the test. Well done. Thank you, Taste. You did. Thank you. You actually did a very good job. Wow. I'm, I'm just so happy. All right, now we have the combat shields on the way. For both players. It's basically, a, it's almost the same build here. Yeah, they're quite mirrored. Scan goes off in Pulse base. Looks like Teja's doing what I've seen on um, many Terrans nowadays uh, start to do, where they don't actually really transfer a ton of SCVs. That's actually an overall they just trend rally, in the game. Yeah, they just rally it from their main. Yeah. And, and, uh, I like that, that actually a lot. I actually have been using it more and more and more, and more well, people do it because uh, the thing is, you lose minerals over time transferring, uh, or you lose all your minerals at once transferring SCVs down, and then just rallying from both to their near patches. But you lose it over time just rallying both command centers or nexuses or hatcheries or whatever. Well, hatcheries actually work completely different, so never mind that. But nexi or, or uh, orbitals. And, uh, you know, if you take the mineral loss spread out over time, that, you know, in my, in my poor math brain, because I'm not actually that good at math anymore since I gave up all my knowledge for StarCraft, <laughs> uh, it seems that, you know, having that money right then to get stuff right then is going to make you safer overall. Yeah, the massive transfer of workers can cause a real hiccup in your income. Exactly. 
certainly all you know with Protoss, for instance, like you're all your warp gates timed off. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's all a little you bit slower. You can't execute it in rounds. Yeah. So there you go. So we do have just some random posturing around the map. Both players are taking up to their starport tech. Because that's how they roll. These guys love their marine marauder. This is the first game that we have not seen one person going at least partial mech in a very long time. Well, Paceless, yes. ask me another question. Um, what's your favorite lizard? Ooh, that's Come a on good a roll question. Today is a good question. That's a really good I'm question. I'm learning about you. Go on. You know, I... I don't know that I have a complete favorite lizard. I do like the kimono dragon. Oh my god, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very interesting one. You want to know a little fact about that that I heard recently? Tell me. Scientists are pretty sure at this point that it's not poison that kills the the things that kimono dragons bite. Because you know they bite something and then they just chase it. They just like follow it until it dies. Because did you know that? No, that's I, how I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And they thought before, they're like, oh, it's because of the poison. But now there's this huge school of thought, and I'm not sure it's been proven yet, but supposedly they have so much bacteria in their mouth, that's actually what gets the end. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it gives them, like, a terrible infection? Yeah, basically, and they just, like, fall over from it. So I don't that's know that that's so been 100% accepted and proven, but I did, uh, I did hear or watch or read about that recently. That is actually so interesting. Yeah. I do you think we're actually gonna see any drops from these two guys? Well, you gotta be careful if you, you do, know, man. It's something that's like too obvious in these positions if you drop. Well, it looks like we are gonna see a drop from Teja. Polk is a little bit out of position right uh -oh, now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's moving in now. And uh, I think the Marines will just barely get there in time. I think he might be able to destroy this depot. Uh, he might he's gotta be careful though there. of his yeah. spread. He really wants to be Getting ready to evacuate at any point in time. And... Oh my god, he's gonna get it. Well, that's the danger in complete mirrors like this. But he, I mean, he just lost a medevac with all those Marines and got a reactor out of it. That's not a very good trade. He yeah. traded down Tasteless. That's like when I traded magic cards with kids at my brother's elementary school, man. I, I got the total high end of that one. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. My magic cards are all still at home. I had some good ones, though. Your decks are obviously going to be better, though. Artosis used to be like. Go to Magic the Gathering player, of course. That's all I do. Taste my brother and me used to play himself. together a day. I always be like, "Why well, have Wall of Woods? I'm casting Wall of Woods around your guys. They can't leave." <laughs> you guys just played pretend with. Yeah, the I mean, like, yeah, we were actually like, yeah, that's exactly what we were doing. Okay, wait, scan. And we all have plus one, but we might have more Marines for Polt here. He decides it's to not. It's kind of hard to say. I think he was afraid of siege mode. He kind of peeked in there and yeah. tried to see if siege mode would trigger, and he's like, "Oh wait." Well, actually, right that, now, that was a tough decision there. Teja does have less Marines. Uh, yeah, that was that was a very tough decision. I think Polk probably made the right he choice. He could actually there. snap, call, drop up into the main. Mm -hmm. And when the Marines try to run up there, it'd be like a funnel. Yeah. Polk right now is taking a third base and getting his second fact. His second fact is a bit later than Teja's. So Teja's going to have this momentary thing where he has all these tanks with siege mode, which are going to do great. All right, now when you see a player who's got siege tanks, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that they can't get near your base. So you run into them, stim attack, then you back up when they enter into siege mode. So he's like, well, I guess I have to get out of siege mode again. Mm -hmm. He goes, he does it, he walks forward, then you run in again. So he sieges up because he needs to optimize the amount of damage you can do. You run away. Never let a Terran just walk all the way across the map and siege up against you. Yep. Well said, Tasis. Third base for Tejit is going up. You know what's interesting? Uh, yeah, Polt keeps jumping up by, like, Five to ten supply, and then Teja catches up, and Pult jumps up. And that's exactly like how much was in that dropship. So these two are just on par with each other. They have uh -oh. like the same exact stuff. He's stimming in here. Oh my! And yeah, great surface area by Teja at a slightly whoa, whoa, whoa. better spread. Both players with one-one upgrades. Pult still getting a siege mode though. All right, he scans again. Maybe an opportune moment to move in here. Sieging up uh, on one side here. Pult with a nice spread, but there are siege tanks here, and they do a lot of damage uh, to Marines. And in fact, I don't even know what to say. Pult yeah. is just like, well, I'm going to lose all my stuff. Teja just pulling right in there. Pult actually is in a terrible position, losing those siege tanks even. Oh, my God, look at all that blood. I'm actually so surprised by that That decision-making process. I, I, for a little bit, I was watching that. I'm like, well, he must understand something that I don't because this looks like 
these siege tanks are just going to blow up all these units. And then it happens, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I should just trust in my normal game sense. Yeah. Well, Teja now has a ton of siege tanks against just two of Holt. Holt's siege mode about to finish, but he is just behind in every single way right now. We have more SCVs by far by Holt, though. 70 against 56. Teja really has not been on top of that. Everything else is lower, though. All the unit stuff. All right. He's getting closer and closer here. And I don't think Polt can win this now. No, I don't either. Based on his decision making ahead of him right now, he's going to move in. You got to be careful with that. You have to just keep those Marines long, alive long enough that your siege tanks demolish everything. If he gets his siege tanks any closer, you can actually cut off uh, units going up and down the ramp. Yeah, that's that's what he's looking for. And Deja actually going to drop a couple Marines up here to snipe nice. that. Nice. That was really good. Very well done. To completely worth uh, the meta back. Uh, he's going to get some Marines. He can put his Marines behind the minerals. He can't attack the uh, planetary. Obviously, it's too strong. Uh-oh. You know what? I can't. Oh, never mind. There's enough Marines here. He's got to be careful, though, for getting good surface area there and a lot of damage being done splash-wise to Teja's army. I think Teja actually should pull back a little bit from this position. He's he needs to get behind the minerals. This is actually one of the slobbier TDTs I've casted. Well, it gets down and dirty when it's Marine tank, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, here we go. Very nice by Teja. Deny it. And here's what's going to happen. If uh, Bolt has to run down there and defend that location, things could get a little bit ugly. Because, um, frankly, there is not a lot that uh, Bolt can do to then stop Teja from just kicking the oh. door and going to the main. Holt's Bolt. going for it. He smells weakness, and he's right. The medevacs are gone. The Marines are damaged. He spreads and kills everything. Beautiful. And now Bolt, patient as ever, takes a big advantage here. Look at that. This is going to show you what medevacs can do for Marines. Heal. Heal. And Drop them. Yeah, and now he's actually cleaning this up. Now, Kenny... Can he come back from this? His supply yeah. is actually about 30 ahead of his opponent. Yeah, it's... Holt has just taken a very nice lead. He lost a ton of SCVs, though, to that harassment on the side. Um, but he has a ton in his main that he could transfer down that are really not doing anything. Now, Polt has such a nice advantage. He really does. His supply has just gone way past Tage. I'm surprised Tage let himself fall apart like that. Well, Tage, I think, was like, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, and he ran in there. This is actually a very a matchup that requires much more patience than most of the matchups. Tons of damage being done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pope, there's way too many Marines there. Now, here's the problem is, is he can hit all these units as they're leaving the base. That's nightmarish. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. And so Teja is going on to the high ground, going to spread and stim, no doubt. But Holt elevating nice. up a little bit, trying to take out some of these barracks. He backs up. Wisely so. Oh, a lot Bait of damage on the Marines. That was actually really nice. Some Vikings are being made by Teja, so you can push off these medevacs, which are giving such great sight. It's 150 supply to 120. Holt actually continues to reinforce here with so many Marines. I don't think this is going to be broken. Teja, on the other hand, when he was pushing like this, did discontinue his uh, really nice rally. So, big difference is how these guys are doing it. Two he's, siege tanks on the high ground. You know, if he loses too many barracks up here, he's just never going to catch up in supply. It looks like these yeah. barracks are about to be taken out. Look wow, at his minerals army. jump up. He's up at 1,200 minerals now. He just has nothing to spend on. Yeah. Okay, now he goes into the front, knowing that most of the Marines are going to be back into the main. He's taking out the siege tanks and the Marines. Oh, man, I think this is actually going to be GG. He's talking about engineering a comeback here. That's right. He was just so, you know, patient. Yeah. Holt did not worry. He did not fret. He lost no hair. He did not start to molt like a bird and his feathers came off. We have a counter drop over here, but it's going to be deflected pretty easily from Holt. And that's the end of that story. Siege Tanks now uh, still having a lot of dominance over here on the map on these barracks and uh, everything else around them. Yeah, but about a 50 supply lead right now by poles, or 40 rather. And I think that uh, delay in units being produced may actually cause Tage of the game. Yeah, I think, I think he's right. actually closed in too far now. I mean, he's got barracks outside of his base. He's got siege tanks outside of his base. I got to say, for Polk to kind of make that huge mistake and then come back, this is pretty impressive. Now, uh, with all these siege tanks up here near the barracks, I mean, this is once again a situation where the units he's producing are going to be killed off uh, right as they pop out. He's never going to be able to get that critical mass. So this is just a disaster here for Teja. 
Well, Cole is up by over twice the supply of Tasia. There's absolutely no coming back from this. Pole even being careful now with some yeah. of the units left in his main. He's like, all right, how can I lose this? Perhaps a giant counter drop? So he leaves a bunch of units in his main. It's a smart move when you get this far ahead. Talk about being players. intense. Sorry, talk about being intense three base uh, versus three base game for a long period of time. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what else to say. I just don't see anybody who can recover. GG. He doesn't either, Caseless. Right, so I was about to be like, well, there's just not much else to say. And Teja falls the up and down matches. Teja was definitely the weakest in this group. You know, that's an amazing thing to say because this group is so sick. Teja's actually completely, in my opinion, Code S material. I yeah. really think he's top 32 world. Uh, but but you know, down he goes, man. Yeah. To the up and down. I think he'll actually make it out of there, though. I actually have a lot of faith that he can make it back into Code S. Sad moment here for Teja. You know he's frustrated. You know he's thinking. Damn, man, I got this hole. I got I got this far, and I could not perform. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? That's, it's not just about you know, you knowing say, more though. and being better in practice. It's about doing it when it counts. And he didn't have it. So uh, Teja is definitely going to be going down. But we have one more game in this group. And it's going to be the rematch A here. TSL player will go on. Bolt Look. against Killer. Yeah. Well, look, Killer plays as well as he did in that last game. You know, well, not, not he the did. One he he went one and one with Polt in a previous yeah. season, and uh, Polt actually won the game that mattered a little bit more, the one that moved him on rather than just kept him in Code S. Uh, and he's he's beaten Polt today. Will it be the same as last time? In fact, last time Killer beat him on Belshear and then barely lost. He should have actually won the other game. I forget what map it was on. I have anyways, no idea, man. Anyways, <laughs> we've cast uh, so many games. Uh, we'll see. Will the same thing happen to Killer again? I don't know. He played really Good. well that game, though. Really well. I, you know, I, I'm curious what kind of style Killer's going to play, because that was a very specific, oh, unique I love style. That. He should just do the that again. The Templars and getting the two Forges. It was one handsome. Attack. It was pretty sexy. It was beyond handsome. Yeah, I, was, I was getting all hot and bothered watching that Artosis. Absolutely. <laughs> so... Um, I feel like I cheated my girlfriend after that game, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here are our results so far. Our two TSL players right now at one and one. Only one will move on. Who will it be? We're going to find out soon. Don Gregu made this look easy. Yeah, he did. He actually raffle stomped his way right through Tasteless. And here we have uh, the bottom right, Teja with his ET phone home finger coming out. Uh, and he'll be going down uh, to the up and down matches. All right, we're going to take a quick break here, but when we're back, we'll have the final game of this group here at the GSL Codex.